So this is what I'm doing, okay? I ripped off orange carpet, which was almost red, because the root chakra is definitely not the red chakra, okay? And then we li li ripped off all the board and batten and stuff, and you see how the lines, the one-dimensional lines are here and here? We're gonna give the fireplace a little, like, you know, a little diet. We're gonna trim it in a little, okay, it's a little big. And uh, it's all cool, cause like, fireplace store guy's like, yeah, I go nuts, you know, you can't encase this wrong. So, yeah. I'm gonna play carpenter, gonna smash all this up. Yeah, we're putting in a new floor, putting in a new mantle, and whatever tiles. Like, you know, pretty tiles, okay? Floor tiles, wall tiles. And then match the bathroom. Like, the leftover bathroom stuff actually makes the math needed to use full tiles to encase the fireplace and have a symmetry with a flow to the floor, which goes in the bathroom and around the fireplace. And we're going to, like, look, like, hold on a second. So, like, when you have a fireplace, you usually, like, fuel for your fireplace and that in the form of logs. So I actually won. I actually win. We're actually going to put a hearth like this over here, 24 inches, and over here of 24 inches. And on the walls, we're going to put tiles and tiles. And obviously, this whole thing's going to be tiled right to the ceiling. And the whole goddamn my mom has been complaining about these two black holes for over 10 years. You know, the black grates that go on them. And when you're sitting in, in, in the living room and now she's complaining about it, she actually said this with her own mouth. I've been staring at these two black holes for like 15 years and I hate them. You know, they should have been installed there and there. And I was like, well, you haven't used the fireplace in like 10 years. How come you haven't put a picture over that to cover your black holes? And then you wouldn't see them. And I like literally took a picture off the wall, one over there, held it. And I was like, oh, wow. I could have just done that. Instead, this happened, but it needed to happen, guy. Right? Am I intentionally ridiculous when I talk? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay? Like, look at this stuff, man. This was the carpet. That was the carpet. That was carpet. It, what's the year? You know? That was the carpet in the year that we are. Anyways, when I bundled it up, I was funny. There was, like, that little bit that was under the TV. We didn't want to move the TV at the end of the day. It's that one last roll. But I did one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I did eight and a one. So like when I was looking at the eight rolls sitting here and I knew there was one left, I got kind of like 81 cells. That has to go. So it had to go. But anyway, yeah, this is what I do. I might as well talk about some numbers. So this column here is very important. This is your new number arrangement. Okay. Now, we have to now coordinate these, okay, we have to propagate them, okay? These are your 10 digits, where a 1 is a 0 and a 0 is a 1. So what comes next? You're going to have a 1, 0. It's an 0, 1. And then an 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 9, 0, 2, 0, 7, 0, 6, 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 3. And then what? An 8, 1. You know why? Because the next one's an 8. And after that, you're going to have a 9, 1. Okay? A 2, 1, and it just goes on and on and on. So the reason I stopped here is because this is the 52nd letter of our alphabet is a capital Z, okay? So I'm taking the original and actual numbers and letters, okay? And we're going to look over here at this new cipher, okay? So when I take the new cipher and I look at my name, okay? There's a Nivek Konadge and there's Kevin Jang. It doesn't matter which way you arrange the new letters or new numbers, okay? When you add up the new numbers, okay, and you know that a zero is a one, okay, when you add up the new numbers, your total, okay, is 278, okay? Now, read backwards is 872, knowing that my name is Kevin Janik, is 874. How many magnets are required in heaven, guy? <laughs> anyway, and then look, 369, Tesla code, okay, where's eight? Okay, what cell is 8? What cell is 7? What cell is 4? 8 is 3. 7 is 6. 4 is 9th. 3rd is the highest, which is the 10th. 874 reduces to 369 Tesla code. 3 is, is C. 6 is F. 9 is I. You know, IFC, International Film something. 
You know, it comes to a 19, 18 at the end, the R, you know, R, 18th letter of the alphabet, 15, 16, 17, 18. You know that thing? I thought I'd end with that. You know, we're carbon-based life forms. Anyway, so that's just funny to me that my name is, like, ridiculous. You know, a kin one. Okay. It means weird numbers about energy. Weird weird stuff. But yeah, this is important right here. Okay, it's just that's kind of what I'm trying to convey. There's 3D Earth, 5D Earth. Armageddon's like putting it all together. The 2 1 of 7 of 13 of 110 of 2143s. Because we're talking about the third dimension. We're talking about tetrahedrons and the building blocks of the third dimension. What is the smallest unit of volume in the third dimension? A tetrahedron. It is the most efficient way to fill up space. Okay? If you make a lot of little tetrahedron juice boxes and throw it all in a crate, they're going to just settle and take up the most amount of volume the easiest. Not the best, let's say. But it's better than a spherical container of volume. So, anyways, okay, let's just end with the path that energy travels. I think it's important. You guys can add up all the numbers in any which way or shape or form that you'd like, okay? I think it's cool. That does this. Oh, look at that. Then you make a five with 2143 and everything, and everything folds over or whatever. Then you go up. Oh, sorry, the C here, 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 here. One is not the loneliest number. Okay? It's the center of the little flower. I gotta call it something, so... Yeah, it looks good. Alright, those are the numbers it makes. Cool. I wonder what it means. Okay. For God so loved the world. Love changes everything. Your guardian angel protects you. Who is Fanuel? I've been seeing a lot about Fanuel lately. Oh, interesting. Golden City Vortex of Malton. Nice synchronicity guy. Austin Lee Meredith is an Orgon warrior. Third, okay, third phase, great. Trigger March 20th. March 20th guy. Little of the babe. Jewish, English, and simple gematria. Interesting. I don't know. This is what I do. The world is getting out of control. Interesting. King of live in New Orleans. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I do. I can think about the outside or the inside. Yeah, it's your point of view, guy. Which point of view? Are you talking about the universe is you? Or are you talking about the ever-expanding universe that you've been told. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I am. There. Interesting. I've heard that a few times lately. Yeah, it's just life. Okay, life. I have time, so I'm going to use my time and do some productive work and increase the value of this box. Interesting. Well, there you go. Okay. Oh, uh, 50. That's like 15 years from now. There you go. There you go, guys. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know I'm pretty much like a surfer dude idiot that knows a lot about numbers. Sorry. I'm trying to make it entertaining for you guys because this stuff is boring. There you go. Interesting. Uh-huh. I don't care about times. Okay, everything, every date I've ever said, I don't really care about that anymore. I'm like, it was needed for me to get here, but I don't really, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I know everything, I, I know this. I just need to, like, put it all together, guy. I know I've, like, got everything I need. Oh, that would have been harder without the internet. Anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling tired guy. I'm doing a lot of labor and stuff. I stay up late and I think all day. Yeah, I don't know. Cause they're, I, I don't know, man. I have no fear and we have no fear. And you're trying to make a point. I don't know. 
I feel invincible. So I do this because whatever. Yeah, good. I hope so. Challenge your beliefs. I'm sorry. I, I just want to allow you to see what I see. Whatever. So, cheers.